Hey everybody, welcome back to The Walking Dead Definitive Edition, Season 1. Just about to start Episode 2, and we'll get the catch up of what happened in Episode 1, and we'll go from there. Hope you enjoy, dudes. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. Oh, poor Doug. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh, my God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. A nice forest. <laughs> Somebody dead within the first couple of seconds. Great hey, stuff. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When We're I all hungry. When I for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily was about right. his health. I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. He knocked me flat on my ass. Take the shot. 
We need anything we can get at this point. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Your shit shot do with the gun. There goes our dinner. Oh, Kenny, please be all right. No, it's not Kenny. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Hey, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? We're not those people, man. The fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Gotta get him out of there. Come on, oh, let's God, try and get him out of there. You. Fine, but you gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. Oh, oh you please. rung the dinner bell. Altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. You have to get him out. You have to. Ah. Do something. You think you can get it open? Please. Get me that out. chain just ain't going to break, man. The There's got to be stop, something stop. we can do. Hurry. Uh. Let's go. Let's go. Why is this happening? No, no, no. Stop. Fuck. Oh, God. Please save him. I think the only option is gonna. No, no, no! Stop! Oh, God, fuck! Come on, try something. Damn it, Lee! Just cut off his fucking leg. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go. There's, Sam, there's bud. gotta be another way. It's gonna be leg only, man. I want my leg. Lee, I, want I can't my keep leg. it back forever. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I'm sorry, dude. You're gonna have to lose your leg, man. Wasting ammo now. We gotta go. You gotta lose your leg, buddy. <laughs> it's the only way. I'm really sorry. You're lucky he's a good shot, man. Come on, dude. Uh, last one. Out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. We gotta go, ma'am. We have to try and save him. Come on. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Oh, man. Well, that was a grim start. Star for help. Where's your hat, Clementine?
who's coming. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell what's that? What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What's no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come Welcome to the here. family, kid. What I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Lily's right. This group needs someone to be a leader or we're all going to fall apart. We can't keep fighting amongst ourselves. Great. Way to take sides, Lee. Didn't take anyone's side, Kenny. They're here now. We can't change that. So, what do you want to do? They can stay until Katja finishes working on that guy. Then they have to go. I don't care what condition they're in. We just don't have enough food. Makes sense. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Look, I can't old dude's do this right prick. now. You understand what I'm dealing with? Please do me a favor. I need you to handle the rations today. That's all you giving out? If we're gonna make what's left last the week, then this is all we can spare today. It's not gonna be enough for everyone, but just do what you think is right. Four food items for ten people, man. This is going to be hard, dude. Your hat. I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. Mm. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Clem? You were the first one to have something to eat, dude. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Oh, hey, Duck. Duck. How about a little food? Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? 
What do you think, Duck? So I mean, no, probably not. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hmm. Lily's been Here. on guard. She needs to have something to eat. Thanks, Lee. Hmm. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I don't really want to give it to Kenny. Do I give it to Carly? Hmm. Kenny, my man. Want no. something to eat? Back in a bit. Oh, I can't do that to her now. <laughs> I can't do that to her now. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. She didn't want it. Kenny. You can have this, dude. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. You can't keep it for yourself, my man. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Oh, Pops. We Let's talk about you, about Kenny. You and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Mm. I will. Gotcha. I'm sorry, there was no food, dude. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. I hope it's the right thing anyway. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. You be careful now. Let's talk to these dudes over here. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kanja can save him. Sorry. 
Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, She's pretty pissed I know at everyone. intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Hmm. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Though. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yep. Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. <clears throat> ben, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... I'm sick of this shit, too. You don't think I am? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. That now we just got one. one. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Holy God, get off her, get off her. Just smash his fucking head against the fucking... Yeah, you didn't. Get back, you fucking stupid... Fucking zombie. Get the axe out of the truck, you absolute fucking cretin. Oh, he's gouging his eyes out. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Oh, just stick the axe in his face. <clears throat> Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. It's not the bite. <clears throat> you come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Harley. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine, uh... But, but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. 
How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So I don't there, trust those dudes. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because no. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. He was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Whatever they could get their hands on. Just how it was on the bus. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh... The motor Inn's my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? You can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We it's work democracy. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Mm. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who Calm raided down. my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it there's off yourself. Oh, no. There's yeah, and a Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This looks nice. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. 
You'd never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is mm. incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. I don't trust it. Obviously, <clears throat> I think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Take a look at the broken swing. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Let's find some rope. There's a store. Well, if I can find some boards to cut. Like the boards next to you. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. There's the seat. How that fit in his pocket, I will never fucking know. But okay. <clears throat> Just need some rope. Hey, 
Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Hmm. Okay. Don't see any rope. Let's put the board in. There's not enough rope, though. The board is good, but I need some rope. Hmm. Let's check if Miss St. John's got any wood. That uh, rope. What's in the shoe bucket? Ah, there you go. There's your rope. There's your rope. To go and fix the swing. All right. This shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh, my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Annie and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. It seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. Right. I fixed the swing. What's Mark thinking? So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. I'll keep looking around. All right. Keep me posted. Oh, so you've basically done nothing. Okay. Let's talk to Andy. Let's go and fix the perimeter. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Oh, those bandits are going to come back, aren't they? Shit's going to kick off. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Ooh, it looks tasty. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. Gotta take the arrow. Uh, 
Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, <clears throat> this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? He was absolutely fried, wasn't he? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Mm. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is going to fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. Oh, they were trying to climb over. Oh, bless them. No. Oh. Hands off. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Let's climb over. Push him up. Oops, a daisy. Holy fuck! What just happened? Oh. The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Uh, uh, I told you what would happen, you son of a What the? Get to the gate. Get down, dude. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. We had an agreement. Now Let's just push the tractor. Ooh, that was close. There's obviously something going on here, right? I can do Quick, this all let's see. Day. Get down. So there's nothing over there. Over there. There, pull that up. Whoa, I was close. Get Let's push now. Now we can push. What now? Fucking roadblock. Get rid of that wood block. Come on. There we go, it's moving. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, that shit that hurts. Can't lure me the open. Show yourself. It's the bandits are back. Mark, you're a bit far away, man, mate. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move it. Now there you are, boy! Move him. Get out the way, you son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Another one? How many of those things did I we push you. down? Lots of them, dude. We put lots of them there. Let's get him out the way. Oh, of course he's still alive. Get off, you little rat bag. Get off. Oh, you split my half, that's grim. Get him out the way. You okay? Yeah. Barely. Get away from this stupid... Oh, good shot. Good shot, my man. I thought he was going to get me then. Let's go through the gate. You probably should have shut the gate, though. 
That might have been a good idea. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, 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 the electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh, my lord. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor in. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids. Look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah! Oh, nice. They're on the swing. That's cool. Nothing over here. Just look at the gas cans. They're storing gasoline all over the property. I really want to look through this gate. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. What's going on with you, you old prick? Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. Talk about a dad, ma'am. Three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. 
Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Hmm, okay. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. Right, take, take you and Kenny are made up, right? We make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid, if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Let's get going. You don't want to talk to that old prick. Ooh, the cornfield. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're going to need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Let's keep moving. Can I go in the barn? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Don't really want to look at the hay bales. Right. Let's go and talk to these geezers. Hey, Clem. Hey, Clem. Do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Thanks, Clem. Lee, will you push me again? Maybe later, okay? Oh, okay. Sorry, Clem. I wanted to talk to, uh... Okay. I wanted to talk to Kenny, not you. I'm really sorry, dude. Ooh, Duck nearly hit me in the face. Hey, Haley. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. 
Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. Hmm. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's in the past, Kenny. A lot's happened since then. Yeah, right. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Mm. You're not making me pick sides, Kenny. Well, you better think about it, because that time is coming. Okay. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Nice one, Kenny. Not to make things difficult for me at all, you know? Fellas? How you feeling, Lee? Look, I... I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Let's go. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Oh, Clem looks sad then. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. Here. Oh shit. There's a Found tent. It. Doesn't seem to be anybody there. Yeah. Let's get moving. Can't see anybody though, which makes me feel there's nobody here. You see anybody? Looks empty. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Possible. Just water. Nothing. Nothing around? Anything in the box? Empty.
Hmm. Nothing in there. Anything in the tent? tent? Looks pretty new. Anybody inside? A few sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Hmm. You're crying. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Hmm. Anything else in this box? Or behind the box? Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What'd you find? A video camera. Mm. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Maybe. Let's go have another look in that tent. Clem's hat. The hell? Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another, she'll come back. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. Mm. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the yeah. hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Enough. Y'all wave them guns like you're looking to die. Shit! What the hell'd you do that for? She's she a fucking crazy bitch, that's why. She stole Clementine's hat. Somehow she got past us. Crazy fucking women must have been inches away from that child. I just couldn't take a chance on that happening again. That sound cool to you? I ain't crying about it. 
I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. No one needs to get near Clementine. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. Man, that was a hell of a Maybe ride, I shouldn't right? have shot her. What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy bitch down. You're back. What happened? Lee took care of it. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. And screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Well, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Dunno. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Hmm. Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. I don't really trust this woman. She seems like a crazy person. Hey, there's Clem. Hey, Clem. Let's go and give her a hat back. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. No clueless about this stuff. Let's head on through. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't see that earlier. The toolbox. What's in the toolbox? I'm just going to borrow this for a second. Some little wire cutters. Okay. Go and see Clem in the barn. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Oh, she a pretty cow. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> Give her back the hat, ma'am. I knew you'd find it. 
find it? You said you would. Don't tell her I got it back, you though. Give your hat to anyone. No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Pet the cow. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. What's in here? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? Hmm. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Because I'm black, I can pick a lock. <laughs> what? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? No, thanks. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Get Andy out of the barn, Look for you. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Okay. What could be outside? <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without him. You couldn't do it without him. Hmm.
Let's go and see Lily. What's she got going on? What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Okay. Watch yourself, Lee. Thanks, Lily. Maybe if I fuck around with the generator, he might come out. Multi tool it is. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing threw a belt. Damn it, dog. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Now is the chance. Now's the chance. Get in the barn. Let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Let's go. I probably would have caught the screws, in fairness. Mm. They put the traps out. Dinner time. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Mm, I don't trust him. <laughs> oh, 
don't trust him at all. Excuse me, oh we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Ma? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Gauze pads. I could use a shave. What's this wire, man? That's a weird wire. Leads to a cupboard. Morphine, candles, medical supplies. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? What are they doing? Hmm, there's the power cord. What if I plug that in? What's it gonna do? What the hell? This seems really fishy. Let's go have a look in this room then. Oh no. Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. Mark, please don't be dead, mate. Oh, he's going to be dead, right? They're going to have killed him. Don't eat the food, Clem! Clementine! No! Huh? Huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's crazy. What the hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Fuck you, Mark. Mom, I was eating that. We need to get the kids and everyone out of here. We need to go now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? 
to continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Lily, grab a knife! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. Mm. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking you out of go here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! Lee? Lee? I'll kill you! No, oh, don't. Don't let you be shot, ma'am. What was the noise? It's Mark. Don't have turn, Mark. Wake up, Open Lee. This door, God damn it. I will knock the Lee, goddamn God, door it's down. down. It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. God, you're worse than the walkers. Dad, please. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention so I can fucking kill them. Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You refused to give me my day's rations back at the motor lodge. And you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! I'm not your enemy, Larry. I don't believe you. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Come on, try yourself, you cowards. Dad! Hmm. There's my... Oh. I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, uh, Easy! Uh, oh, God. Dad? He's having a heart attack. No! Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead- He's not- Dead. You know what has to happen, Lee. Think oh, mate. It. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you. We can bring him back. Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny. He is not dead. We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. Remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. 
Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not going to make it. He might make it though. Remember what Ben said. Got to destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You got to have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. <sighs> come on, Dad. Kenny. Come on. Wake up. We've got to try and Is bring him to life, ma'am. No. No, I don't think so. Okay. Let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Kenny, don't stupid? think about it. You're, turn. you're putting all of us at risk, Three. you son of a bitch. Four. You're fucking worthless, Lee. Five. No! <laughs> Holy fuck, Kenny. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that. Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me. Oh, Clem. Are you okay? Is it over? Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know, but you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? Totally found a way out. I'm working on it. Air conditioner. Still lively. He was still alive. Jenny, he made a bad call. It was premature for sure, but he was trying to keep us safe. Bullshit. He cares about keeping his family safe. He doesn't give a shit about you and he me. He puts his family first, sure. Just like Larry did. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. I'm sorry, Lily. Yeah, he didn't need to go like that, but... I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we've got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. You talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Duck? It's never gonna come to that. Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have... No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him. That's all. gonna survive this shit we've got to work together how do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do if she wants to live she'll work with us if she doesn't then the hell with her oh Kenny you're not making these things easier be buddy an air duct behind this unit maybe big enough for one of us to fit through does the air conditioner come off I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws multi-tool of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. Hmm. need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. Is your dad got any money? But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. 
what about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Oh, I'm sorry, Larry. You were a prick. Oh, boy. But you didn't deserve to have your head smashed in. Any idea which pocket he keeps us change in? Huh. He still carried his wallet. A ring. My mother's. Don't worry, I'm not taking it. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Let's get this shit off, ma'am. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. All right, mate. Chill out. I'm trying to undo screws of the fucking coin. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Go on, Clem. Get us out of here. Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Where the hell are you going? What do you care? Kenny! Lily, I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Ugh, God. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Cattle prod. Oh man. No. I definitely want the sickle. The sickle's what I want.
Come on, Kenny. Oh, Kenny, you fucking nutter. Okay. I'll come and help you. Nothing there. I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. See where he is now. I'm scared, Kenny. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Yo! Yo, it didn't work. Oh, ma'am. Thanks, Lily. No! Go, Kenny. Gotta save your wife. I should fucking kill you right now. Cannibalism is not the answer! Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive! If you kill me, the meat gets tainted! You can't eat it! You're already tainted! Do it then! I know you can! This is not how the world works now! You won't make me kill you! Come on, Clem. Let's go. Go. I'll cover you. Just stay here and keep Clementine safe. I'll be right back. We gotta save Katya. You'll be safe with Lily Clementine. Is he? We gotta go. She must still be in the house. Oh no, the walkers. And I turned off the generator. Carly. Lee? Ow. Shh. Is everyone okay? You guys have been gone way too long. We need your help. Yeah, when you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. 
And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Come on, guys. You gotta get in here and help us. Shit, man. Gotta see Katya. I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Settle down. I don't wanna hurt y'all. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? I left Danny in the bar. He got what he deserved. Let's go. Lee, hit back! Don't come in here! You just had to go snooping around, didn't you? Let her go, Brenda! Lee! Lee, don't you take another step! Brenda, come on now, you know you don't want to do this! Just go away and leave us be! Okay. Come on. Stop right there! All right, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Come on. It's okay. All right, I'm staying back. I'm staying back. I'm staying back. Let her go, Brenda. Please listen to him. I'll do it. Please. Look who's at the top of the stairs. Can she just go back a tiny bit more? Come on. I don't want to kill you. Okay. Lee. Okay. Don't kill me then. Don't kill me then, it's fine. Please don't make this any worse. Just stop. Alright, I'll stop. I'll stop. Come on. Just give her back to me. Calm the fuck down, buddy. Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done. Calm down. Calm down. What for, huh? All we wanted was some goddamn gasoline. Get the gun off him. Give me the fucking gun. Oh. Oh. Oh, mate. Get up. Get the fuck up. No, you fucking brute. Come on, fight back, fight back, fight back, fight back, fight back, fight back, fight back. Why isn't it changing? Why isn't it changing? I can't keep doing this. No! Lily! Get off me, you little prick.
<laughs> Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. It's over. Fuck you. As soon as Dana Mama get out here, you, you all fucked. <laughs> They're not coming. What do you mean? Lee? What the fuck do you mean? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Back here and fight me like a man, Lee. Nobody else needs to die. Lee. They're getting in. Lee. Let's go. Let's go. Leave him to the walkers. Oh, his mama's turned already. She's going for him. Those fucking psychopaths, man. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended. But, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? We should have known something was up. How the hell do we foresee that? Come on, Lee. I don't know. We didn't have foreseen that, don't. but you just should have... Kaji Things are too good to, to be true. She was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah, I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? Fine then, fine. I saved Duck on the farm and didn't save Sean. Now I kill someone before I can put your little girl in danger, and I'm even more of a monster. I don't care. You do what you have to do. I'm gonna keep doing what needs to be done. Oh, Kenny. You just... You're a good man. You just made the wrong decision. Please. You should have tried to save him first. We didn't kill them, so I don't know. They might have been able to get away from the walkers. But I'm sure they won't be coming after us. That's good. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh god, not more strangers. Stranger danger. It is a car. Don't shoot! We're here to help! Oh, 
Oh, I can't do any more of this shit now. Please be friendly. Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> hmm. Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff yeah. isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? What if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. Don't want to take all of it. Some supplies. We will survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. More food in here. Hmm. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Surprise. Maybe they're dead. I'll take it. Can I just a box of food here. not take it all? I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him, okay? Okay. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not going to let me live that down, are you? No, I'm not, mate. No, I'm not. Oh, God. Lee, you're going to want to see this. Oh, shit. They were watching us. Who was watching us is the question. Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lots. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking rapists. Oh, darling, baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you where we are. Bring it on, Clementine. Yeah. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I oh, find it, I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you've got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who do... It's the crazy lady. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Oh, dear. I 
Oh, and that's the end. Next time. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, I'm... I'm in the 1%. Well, not the 1%, but... Didn't shoot Jolene. Didn't kill the brothers. 61% of us didn't kill the brothers. 51% of us stole the food. I mean, it's... It'll be killed, right? Kill or be killed. Anyway. Anyway, dudes, I hope you've enjoyed. I'll catch you again in the next one. For episode three. Catch you later.